Bill from Bessex here to talk with you a little bit today about the supply chain of the equipment industry. This is probably the fourth or fifth video like this that we've done. I don't want to get repetitive on this kind of thing, but I keep getting emails and comments from you guys asking to hear a little bit more about this information. So we're going to take some time here today. We're going to talk through what the supply chain looks like, what availability and lead times look like, and a little bit of what's happening in the steel industry. A six, a helping hand with your land. So if we go through here and we pick out what's the good news and the bad news of the equipment business right now at this point, the good news is that it looks like steel pricing may have peaked. If you've paid attention here over the last year or so, as demand within the economy has picked up again, the demand for steel has gone up and its price has skyrocketed. That's led to steel surcharges from some of our vendors as high as 35%. So when we pull an invoice right now from mostly implement companies that have a lot of steel in their products, some of those implement companies are raising their prices by as much as 35% right now in order to offset for that raw material cost. And that adds up, it drives up the cost of things like box blades and rear blades, you know, a lot of your simple implements, plows, that kind of thing, the pricing of that has gone up significantly. We've backed off ordering a little bit at those inflated prices, and I think that hopefully is gonna end up being a smart thing as it looks like we may be starting to see the peak in the steel business. So going out and looking where that futures market is, these are traded commodities, and you're gonna notice that the price of that is starting to come down. And the analysts around this stuff that look at things like factory lead times and that kind of stuff for raw materials are starting to see things sliding off and kind of pointing in a direction that prices are gonna start receding here. So we're gonna hope that steel goes like lumber, right? We had this really expensive peak of lumber here a couple of months ago, and the price has dropped significantly and stabilized. Hopefully steel goes that direction here now shortly. Next up is inventories. Now, our overall inventory level here at Messix has not gotten any better here for almost a year. Uh, we tend to gauge our inventory in terms of month's supply, the amount of inventory here that's sitting on our lots and how quickly we're going to sell or run out. And we see that month's supply start to shrink down a little bit. That tells us we need to get more orders in here. And generally for most of our companies, we're usually working in the five to eight month supply, depending on the lead time from our vendors and that kind of thing. For almost a year now, that normal five to eight months of supply uh, corporately has been under about three weeks or so. There is very, very little inventory to be had on any of our lots. That does not mean, however, that people aren't getting their equipment. What has happened is now a deep, deep backlog, a lot of back ordering of machinery in order to try to get people machines. So we're actually selling more equipment than what we ever have before. It's simply that you're just not seeing any of that machinery out here on the lot. Now, I would say that that pace of deliveries, the amount of equipment that's coming into the dealership and going back out again has increased a little bit. We're far enough into this supply problem now that the manufacturers have all got their foot on the gas as hard as they can, producing as much as possible. And so there is more stuff coming in. Now, all that said, it is difficult for us to get complete packages out the door, especially when we start tying tractors to a whole series of implements. More than likely, you're gonna find one of those implements. It's gonna be on a couple month backlog. So we're in a lot better shape on base machines than we are on attachments at this point, but we are starting to see that ramp up a little bit. As far as the problems that are causing those delays, they seem to be a moving target anymore. We know that steel tubing is a problem for every manufacturer, especially when it thing comes to things like roll bars and hydraulic cylinders, any of that tube stock is just hard for them to find. But we continue to hear these funny things of problems with tires and problems with seats and problems with plastics and problems with microchips. And they all seem to be kind of a moving target at this point. One will cause a backlog and then it will suddenly get rid resolved and a slug of inventory will show up, but then they'll suddenly start having a problem with something else. So we certainly do see those problems continue to evolve. So beyond those of you just asking me these questions because of curiosity, I think the root question is, should I buy a machine now or should I wait? I don't think there's a whole lot of places in the economy right now that you can look and see things getting cheaper, right? Everything is being pushed by inflation right now. Our entire industry is pushed by all these supply constraints, but also global shipping issues, domestic shipping issues. There's very few things of our supply chain that are gonna be getting any less expensive for anybody. 
At the same time, many of our manufacturers have been really slow in order to bring these price increases out. Why well, I said the implement companies have had those 30 and 35% steel surcharges, the major manufacturers have not come out with significant increases in price and have really held the line on things like all those financing programs, those zero 60s and that kind of stuff that you often see when buying a new piece of equipment. Any thinking person is going to look and say, come first quarter of next year, when we generally do see price increases happen in a normal year, that we could be looking at a really significant price increase now for first quarter. Now, given what I just explained and the complete lack of inventory that's out here on the lot, that doesn't mean that you should sit in the sidelines and wait for that equipment to come in. You don't necessarily have to have a machine purchased and sold and done and sitting in your driveway to avoid those future price increases here that I'm predicting, but you should have an order in our computer system. Most every one of these manufacturers offers some kind of what they would call program protection, right? For your ability to come into the dealership, sit down, pick out the machine that you want, configure everything with the salesperson, put a deposit on it, get financing approval, in order and then wait. You're gonna lock some things in at that point that are kind of gonna hold that price where it was and keep it honored if we go into first quarter and have some price increases. So you certainly cannot do worse today than you're going to in the future. I would encourage you to come in and get your name on that piece of paper and get everything locked in. The only exception to that would be maybe some straight implements. Again, if you were looking at a, a grading scraper or maybe a grapple or something like that, there's a window of time here where those steel surcharges have been really high. If you don't need it today, maybe waiting it out for a fall purchase might start to look a little bit better. This isn't gonna be resolved by spring for sure. I can tell you that for certain based upon what I'm seeing. So kind of a moving target. I, I hate sitting down and making these videos sometimes because I feel like I might be discouraging somebody out there from making a purchase and that is my job, right? I'm ultimately here in order to help sell parts and equipment and that kind of thing. But just coming from an honest perspective of it, I'd, I'd encourage you to get in here, right? Get in, talk to a salesperson. They're gonna be honest with you and tell you kind of where this stuff has been falling and what the costs of our different inventories look like at the moment and how that reflects to a more normal time. So if you're shopping for a piece of equipment that we can help or if you have parts of service needs for your machinery, give us a call at Messick's. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messick's.com.